Hi everyone, I've had some really amazing revelations that I've been debating about whether I should make a video about it or not, primarily because of some of the strange things that have been happening with my channel, and so I've been praying about it, and I never really got anything definitive about whether I should make a video or not, until this morning when I opened the Bible, I felt like God was leading me to make a video because I opened to Matthew 10:27, and I'll read the entire context of the scripture. Okay, it actually starts out with verse 26. It says, Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed or hid that shall not be made known. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. What you hear in the ear, that preach ye on the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And of course, that, that would be God. And so God is saying here that everything will be revealed eventually. And so... I feel like he's giving me the go-ahead to share some of these revelations, but there's something interesting that happened this morning that I wasn't even thinking about this scripture that I opened to when this happened, but what happened this morning when I woke up just as I was coming out of sleep, I heard this voice, and I don't hear voices or have dreams or, or visions or anything like that. I've never claimed to be a prophet. I've never claimed to hear God's voice. So I wouldn't have any idea what that sounds like or feels like. But I heard this voice and it sounded like it was a voice from a movie. And, and it happened right as I woke up and the voice I heard said, where did they all go? And that's all I heard this morning, and it sounded like it was coming from a movie, and I thought it was really strange. I didn't even think about it again until I got on the computer, and this was actually the second video that I watched. I started to watch a video for a couple of minutes, and then the second video that I went to right after I woke up in the morning was this video by Bolt Soldier. I thought I would watch it. It was only 11 minutes or 11 seconds long and the title got my attention. It says important raptured scene leaked in Avengers 4 Endgame. They know it's coming starts at 4 seconds and I'll go ahead and play the video. It's just 11 seconds long so I'll go ahead and play it. Okay, so I just want to clarify that I don't think the voice that I heard was God's voice. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, that was the, the last thing I thought when I when I woke up in the morning. And, and I still don't believe that was God's voice. I just thought it was a very strange coincidence that I would dream or this would happen right as I was coming out of sleep. That I would hear the exact same thing that's actually written on this sign. Not exactly, but it said... What I heard was, where did they all go? That's the, the words that I heard. And the voice that I heard was exactly the voice in this movie. So I just thought that was strange. And I thought I would point that out to start with. Okay, and then when I was praying about the revelations that I've been getting, whether I should try to explain them in a video or not, I had prayed and asked that God that question before I opened the Bible. And I wasn't even thinking about the, the voice that I heard or anything when I read it, or at least I don't remember thinking that. I might have thought about it, but, but quickly dismissed it until I saw the video. But it said in the scripture, it said, what you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. And it was like I heard that voice right in, in my ear when I woke up. But what I took this uh, scripture to mean is, 
to explain what I've been understanding over here in the bottom of this image that I just pulled up. It says, preach on the housetops, Matthew 10, 27, preach the word, the word God reveals to you from scripture, help people understand the kingdom of God, explain kingdom principles and practices, set captives free. And that's exactly the understanding that I got to just explain what I was understanding from the scriptures, not necessarily to speak about what I heard or the fact that I saw a video that matched it exactly. And I still don't think that was the, the answer. I think it, it was directed to whether I should talk about the revelations about scripture that I got. And so I'm going to try to do that next. Okay, but I do want to point out before I get into that, this is where I got that image from. I just put in Matthew 10, 27, and I, I like this particular image over here. When I clicked on it, I was able to get the larger image, but I thought it was interesting that this number over here actually is an anagram of 2017, and that's one of the things I've been talking about, that this is actually still the 2017th year until April 1st because God's calendar or April 6th actually because God's calendar begins with Nisan 1 that's explained in Exodus 12 2 that the calendar that God changed it to begin in the month of Nisan and that would be the first month of the year and so that falls on April 6th and so this is the, the 2017th year up until then because this is actually the 2018th year. You can see that when you go to the BC to AD calculator. There's no year zero. You would have to go to 1 BC before this year. There's no zero. And so starting from year one on the Gregorian calendar, this is the 2018th year and we're only two months and two days into it. But like I said, the... The years did not begin according to the word of God until the month of Nisan. And so this is still the 2017th year. Okay, so that's not really what I wanted to talk about. But I just couldn't help but notice that that's an anagram of 2017. And I remember talking about the scripture in Matthew 24 verse 17. And I've talked about how the number 27 represents the year 2017, but this is also an anagram of 2017. And I've pointed out before that it comes up in verse 17 where it says, Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of this house. And I've talked about how this clearly depicts the rapture because there's no way someone would not be able to come down from the housetop. In fact, I'll show you an image of Okay, so I like this image right here. This is just another one of the images that came up when I put in Matthew 10, 27. But there wouldn't be any way to not come down from the housetop. Okay, and I'll just show you the scripture in the context. Because this is in the context of the abomination of desolation. It says when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel, the prophet stand in the holy place. Place, then let them which be in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. So there, there wouldn't be any way to not come down unless it's the rapture. And then verse 18 says, Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And I've asked the question before, why would anyone not have their clothes on, first of all, and try to take their clothes unless it's the rapture? A lot of the rapture seems show the clothes you left behind. Okay, so that comes up in verse 17, and Matthew 10, 27 is an anagram of 2017, and it's also in Luke 17, 31, that talks about that housetop. Okay, and again, this is not what I wanted to talk about, but I'll bring that up, and there's just one more thing that I want to point out before I get into what I really wanted to talk about, but Another video that I saw this morning was this uh, video over here by God's Healer 7. And she got an urgent word of knowledge, which was the letters E-L-E, -E, which stands for Extinction 
level event and I thought that was interesting because I recently showed a clip from the movie Deep Impact where they talked about Ellie was the code name of the the planet that was going to hit the earth okay the name of the video I believe it was is it really about a wall and this is from the the video file so the title is different over here but um, it's just easier to pull it up that way sometimes and so I showed this clip of Donald Trump saying they try and make it like it's just about a wall and it is about a wall and then he goes on to say, I said over the weekend to a number of people that, you know, the wheel, the wall, some things never get old. So he's comparing the wall to the wheel. Okay, and then I go on to show in this video the table that I did on the word Nibiru, which comes up in, let me try to, let me take the sound off and I'll just try to play it from here. Okay, it comes up in Joshua 2017, or it looks like 2017 with the semicolon. I understood that, um, I believe God is showing the year that way as well. And 2018. Okay, I'll just show it again from the beginning because I, I believe it cut off the word Nibiru in the clip I just showed. But you can see the word Nibiru right here when I put in the table came up with the, well, I'm not sure what the skip was, but it, there's no um, letters in between. There's letters in between this way. It actually comes up straight up and down. I'll show you that, that image as well. But when you play the video, you see that that comes up in Joshua, which is the name Yeshua, Jesus, 27, which looks like 2017, and 28, which looks like 2018. And then I go on to show the word Galilee, that this word means circuit. I'll just show it to you that way. You can see that it means circuit or district. It comes from a form of the word Gilgal. And I'll talk about that a little more later. But I'll just go back through the video a little bit. You can see that over here is where I showed a scene from the movie Deep Impact. And um, this is where they're talking about Ellie when she discovered what that means. That it was short for extinction level event. And I'm just trying to get to the part where it shows Nibiru. Okay, I think it was over here. And this word reproach where the the real Joshua said to this Joshua, to Joshua in the book of Joshua, this day have I rolled away the reproach from you. The word reproach is Strong's, is Strong's number 2778. And so I go on to show that in the video. But the word Galilee means circuit. And so what I realized is that that's another term for orbit and so I had put in Nibiru circuit and you can see all the videos that come up where they talk about Nibiru making its orbit so it's just another word for orbit and it also talks about Wormwood in Revelation 8 11 so and that corresponds with the year as well which is the year that's showing up in this table is 2017 to 2018 Okay, but if you go to the book of Joshua, chapter 20, you see the very last verse is 29, which looks like 2019, but you have the word Galilee here in verse 2017. Okay, and this is also where you have the avenger of blood, which is Jesus, and the word avenger of blood comes in this comes up in this table. Okay, here's the original table that I did in the original video that I did on the word Nibiru. You see the Avenger of Blood at the top. When you push those letters together, it makes the word Heaven. And then you have the Avenger of Blood at the bottom. 
It makes like the, the letter I with the word Nibiru. 